you want to know seven micro tiny habits to increase your feminine energy and keep watching you girls want to know how i became feminine well it was simple it started off by every day i set tiny micro habits to increase every single day and from there i've been doing it and here we are today i'm going to provide you with seven tips to raise your feminine energy so let's go ahead and get started okay so i know this first one may shock you as it shocked myself but the first tip you're not gonna believe it but believe it okay is to slow down i mean slow down slow down in every part of your life social physically spiritually you will level up so much easier so much faster and there will be less room for errors less room for mistakes and i'm gonna tell you why because when you slow down and you process information you're able to comprehend in your subconscious rather than just quickly seeing it quickly reading the information quickly talking to people if you slow down not only will your life get better your self-awareness will get better and mentally you will get better i would walk so fast to get to my destination i would talk so fast to get conversations over and i would read my bible so fast and i would not be able to process that information now in my life i slow down <sighs> even if i'm getting irritated I take a step back I slow down slowing down will be the key to a lot of things in your life that's causing you frustration agitation irritation making mistakes slowing down and actually processing the information as you're speaking a lot of the times when i would produce these videos earlier in the past i would talk so fast and it would not give enough time for you watching to understand what i'm saying see slowing down in life allows you to live life have a more fulfilling life have a more peaceful life and ultimately understand your true self slowing down when you're walking you're gonna reach your destination regardless if you're late guess what you're already late talking fast missing over great opportunities that people can present good friendships good people the main goal in your conversation when you speak to someone isn't to get it over with it should be to have an exchange of information that's all a cabinet conversation is about but slowing down and thinking about the words before you thinking before you speak i feel like people in this generation don't know how to think before they speak thinking before you speak is actually slowing down processing what you're going to say beforehand it will save you i'm telling you even in when you're in school and when you're doing your presentations it will save you from a lot of ums looking insecure looking nervous by just slowing down and allowing the words from your mind to catch up to the words that's coming out of your mouth i want you to slow down i want you to slow down when you're walking look around make sure you're aware of your surroundings make sure no one's following you i want you to slow down and stop trying to get everywhere fast okay because you're going to get there regardless god destined you to get there okay i want you to slow down when you're talking to people i want you to slow down in your career okay and i know i'm about to you're like what what uh, uh, rosie what do you mean now what i mean is that stop trying to rush the journey that god has destined for you we live in a generation where we have 16 year olds 19 year olds 20 year olds who are already millionaires and that's their journey not yours we need to focus on our narrow path and not all the intersections that are all around us. don't rush the process don't try to have your hands in all these different pots narrow it down because i'm telling you whatever you pour into will grow that's all you need to know whatever you pour into will grow what you put into it you will get out of it if you feed your plant with good soil it will grow and that's the same way with your life so slow down we don't rush the process of having a garden we don't rush the process of plants getting planted in good soil we rush the process ourselves and that is just like a cycle that we must get out of. Introducing our second tip, control your reaction. This is a hard one, I won't lie, okay? But 
but so for example let's say you go into apple fix your ipad he says there's nothing i can do about it this ipad is just this generation of it we have to realize as ladies especially as women it is a choice to go back and forth with people like i said conversating with people is an exchange of energy if you have the ch if you make the choice to exchange energy with people who are low vibrational then that is a choice that you're choosing to operate in and that's what you will receive back and you'll be drained better way to go about that which is literally just every day in your steps to not be reactive is literally just to be like are you okay like asking a person are you okay after they said something so disrespectful it'll make them come correct like who are you talking to like i just want to know what's going on here it will literally put your intelligence on a toe to toe it will literally make this other person be like i need to work on myself i need to level up and that will increase your feminine energy because just by controlling our reactions, just being more chill, laid back, taking our time with things will literally take away, take away a lot of the chaos in your lives, ladies. I'm being so for real. It is a choice to go back and forth with people. It is a choice to be reactive. Reactive is not cute. Reactive, going back and forth with people who don't even deserve your time. Women are able to control themselves control the reactions this will literally put you on another intelligent level it's literally a choice to go back and forth with this person or literally to hit them with an okay that's power that's power in a woman and that will increase your feminine energy and that brings us to our third tip with our power move and that's to be inviting going out in public and giving people the be face and you know the face that i'm talking about the that type of face i'm telling you ladies so many things so many opportunities so many friendships so many people will want to gravitate to you if you literally would just smile like hey good morning how are you even when you're walking past people hello or good morning or things like that like just being inviting being open you know one thing i really noticed about that energy is Feminine women are inviting. They are inviting. Like people want to be around them. Why do people want to be around them? Because they make them feel comfortable by being approachable. Okay, ladies, we have to be approachable. We smile when people walk by. And not only just because it's the ladylike thing to do, it's a person-like thing to do. Back in the day, people would, when you pass them or you know them on the streets, they would shake your hand. Greeting somebody is the proper way to do things. It's still polite, it's still mannerism. However, being radiant, being approachable, that is the thing that will set you this feminine, to this feminine okay and that's where i want to take you so be open when somebody walks past greet them and say hi or hello they might be in your career doing the same thing and y'all might end up linking up you never know walking with their head down that's a no that is very important as a lady moving on to my tip number four to increase your feminine energy is to engage in more things that make you feel feminine so for me that is perfume that is clothes that is self-care that's making sure that my fronts look good focus on a really good skincare regimen i do my hair i take my showers very seriously i invest in really good products for my body i take my vitamins i work out like i do things that make me feel more womanly because if i don't feel womanly if i don't feel feminine then that is going to link directly to my confidence and i don't want to do that so i want you ladies to do things that make you feel more feminine if that's cooking more if that's figuring out how to bake if that's working out more if that's investing into capsule wardrobe if that's investing into your perfume or just making sure that you smell good or that you always have like your beauty maintenance going on make sure you do things that make you feel more feminine if that's resting so you don't burn out relax like i said previously before tip number one slow down i know i'm talking fast but i'm just really passionate you will find joy you will find passion happiness in those things because they make you feel feminine and womanly and that is a way to increase your feminine energy and that brings us to tip five to work on your appearance i love accessorizing and that helps me with my feminine energy as well like, are micro habits every day that you can incorporate so I have to have earrings in my ear. If I don't have earrings in my ear, I feel like a man. 
don't tell nobody I told you always make sure to have earrings in I like to have maybe a ring on my finger I love to wear necklaces I love to make sure that my makeup is not overdone or like doing too much I always do my edges like I do things that make me feel more feminine and not only that I worked on my wardrobe I love to accessorize that's my thing I love to smell good not only that that's going to the doctor or taking your vitamins or going to a holistic doctor honestly watching what you're eating or meal prepping and meal plan talk about all the work on your parents and just like on the outer no let's get to your gut health let's get to what really matter working on yourself start to show in your outer appearance like what you really eat really does show up on your face how you're treating your body really does show up on your body so make sure that you're drinking your water make sure that you're taking your vitamins make sure that you have like a workout plan it doesn't have to be just working out the gym it could be going doing doing tennis it could be a light jog it could be a walk around the neighborhood it could be small things like that it could be like a quick at home workout it doesn't have to be anything fancy or anything just make sure that you feel good on the inside out so you can have confidence to be that woman that you want to be this is so important because i didn't realize that this was dumbing down my feminine energy and tip number six is going to be to guard your heart and guard your mind yes this is from the bible jesus said that but this is so true well i was listening to some music i don't listen to i try not to listen to rock music at all it is just too much one thing about my life i like is peace okay and that is nothing rap could ever provide me with Pay attention to the lyrics that people are putting into these songs, the podcasts that, that you're listening to, the movies that you're watching. How are they treating these women? You know, question that. How can you be a this feminine woman and support these things? That's dubbing down your feminine energy. Simple. You can. Be careful to what you're listening to. Sometimes we may not be able to help it. But I'm talking about the times where you can. Be careful because slowly but surely, that will subconsciously show up in your life. And that's scary. So I want you to really pay attention. Be self-aware about that. And the seventh tip to really leveling up your feminine energy is to give it to God, okay? Whatever burdens you're feeling, stresses, frustrations, irritations, anger that you feel like in your life, pray about it. And like, I feel like people are like, oh girl, just pray about it. Like, no, heavenly father type of prayer. You know what I mean? Like, give it to God. He is the only, he is the only father that I know that could bear what's going on in this world. That is a complete disgrace to him and still love you. And he's the only one that accepts you for who you truly, truly are. Stop giving your burdens. Stop giving your worries to human beings. Journaling is great to get your thoughts out on pen and paper. The one way to live a stress-free life, the one way to not worry, the one way to not doubt, the one way to not fear is to give it to him. And I promise you, none of his prayer requests return void, okay? I'm a prayer proof, okay? I was always worried, always stressed, always fearful. But it says, I believe in 2 Timothy, that God does not give us a spirit of fear, but of a sound mind, but of love and power. Power to help people, power to restore other people's hearts, power of goodwill, righteousness. As a feminine woman, I, I can't be feminine if I'm bearing it all. I have to give it to him and that's what you should do i love you girls thank you so much for watching those are seven micro habit ways to level up in your feminine energy and i really hope you wrote them down and these are all things that you can start working on now they don't cost any money they're free of charge and what i love about the seven tips is that they're easy to comprehend it's not a lot of fluff be sure to go subscribe if you haven't already and like this video if you want more advice videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.